How to unlock the genius in your child. Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about unlocking the genius in your child by teaching them complex math, science, physics, and higher level thinking from a young age. You may have heard the phrase, neurons that fire together, wire together. This means that the more your child's brain is exposed to and challenged by new and complex information, the stronger the connections between neurons become. By exposing your child to these subjects early on, you can help prevent the process of synaptic pruning, which is when unused connections in the brain are lost. Synaptic pruning is a natural process in the development of the brain where unused or redundant connections between neurons are lost. This pruning process occurs throughout life and is essential for the efficient functioning of the brain by removing connections that are no longer needed and strengthening the connections that are used frequently. However, during childhood, especially in the first few years of life, the brain is undergoing rapid growth and development. During this time, it's important to expose children to a wide variety of experiences and information to promote the formation of new connections in the brain. If these connections aren't used, they may be subject to pruning. Therefore, the reason we want to slow the progress of synaptic pruning during childhood is to ensure that the child's brain is forming strong connections in response to the experiences and information they're exposed to. By promoting the formation of these connections, we can help support the child's cognitive, language, and motor development, and lay the foundation for future learning. In summary, slowing the progress of synaptic pruning in childhood can help support brain development and promote better learning outcomes by ensuring the formation of strong connections in response to experiences and information. So, how can you do this in a way that's fun and engaging for a three-year-old? Here are some examples. Science. Teach your child about the five senses and how they work. You can do this by playing games that involve using each sense, like having them close their eyes and guess what they're touching. Math. Play counting games with your child, like counting the number of apples in a basket or the number of cars passing by. You can also use everyday objects to teach them about size and quantity comparisons. Physics. Teach your child about cause and effect by doing simple experiments, like dropping a ball and watching it fall to the ground. You can also introduce the concept of gravity by talking about how things fall to the ground and why. Quantum physics. Teach your child about the basic principles of quantum mechanics through simple, age-appropriate experiments, such as the double-slit experiment or Schrodinger's cat. There are many resources available to help you teach your child these subjects, including educational websites and books. Some of the websites I recommend checking out include Science Kids, www.sciencekids.co.nz. Maths is fun, www.mathsisfun.com. Physics for Kids, www.physics4kids.com. Kids Discover, www.kidsdiscover.com. By exposing your child to complex subjects early on, you can help them build strong connections in their brain, prevent synaptic pruning, and unlock their inner genius. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more educational content.